Hello and welcome to this episode of the podcast, The Mnemonic Tree, where we add a single mnemonic leaf to our tree of knowledge. Today's episode will be on snooker, and in particular, the order you pot the coloured balls, and of course, their value. Said to be a gentleman's sport, the name snooker actually came as a derogatory term used to describe inexperienced military personnel. It was popularised by the BBC's airing of Pot Black, and now players play for millions of dollars on a world tour. Along with this, it's actually been a big week in the world with the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and her associated four-day party, which is something we won't see another of in our lifetime, and maybe never. And also, I had the privilege of seeing Top Gun Maverick last night, which I think will go down as one of the best sequels of all time. They absolutely nailed it, and it was totally worth the 36-year wait. So with that being said, we will begin with a summary from Wikipedia. Snooker is a cue sport that was first played by British Army officers stationed in India in the second half of the 19th century. It is played on a rectangular table covered with a green cloth with six pockets, one at each corner and one in the middle of each of the long sides. Using a cue stick, the players take turns to strike the white cue ball to pot the other 21 snooker balls in the correct sequence accumulated points for each pot. An individual frame of snooker is won by the player who has scored the most points by the end of the frame. The snooker match ends with one of the players having won a predetermined number of frames, thus winning the match. Snooker gained its identity in 1875 when Army Officer Sir Neville Chamberlain, stationed in Utakarmand, Madras, and Jabalpur, devised a set of rules that combined black pool and pyramids. The word snooker was a well-established derogatory term used to describe inexperienced or first-year military personnel. In the early 20th century, snooker was predominantly played in the United Kingdom, where it was considered to be a gentleman's sport until the early 1960s, before growing in popularity as a national pastime and eventually spreading overseas. The standard rules of the game were first established in 1919, when the Billiards Association and Control Club was formed. As a professional sport, snooker is now governed by the World Professional Billiards and Snooker Association, founded in 1968. The World Snooker Championship has taken place since 1927. Joe Davis, a key figure and pioneer of the early growth of the sport, won 15 successive world championships between 1927 and 1946. The modern era of snooker began in 1969 after the broadcaster, BBC, commissioned the television series Pot Black, later airing daily coverage of the World Championships, which was first televised in 1978. Key figures of the game were Ray Reardon in the 1970s, Steve Davis in the 1980s and Stephen Hendry in the 1990s, each winning the World Championship on multiple occasions. Since 2000, Ronnie O'Sullivan has won the most world titles. Top professional players compete in regular tournaments around the world, earning millions of pounds on the World Snooker Tour, a circuit of international events featuring competitors of many different nationalities. The three main professional tournaments, the World Championship, the UK Championship and the Masters, together make up the Triple Crown Series, considered by many players to be the most highly valued titles. Competitive snooker is also available to non-professional players, including seniors and people with disabilities. Although the main professional tour is open to females, there is a separate amateur women's tour organised by World Women's Snooker. 
The popularity of snooker has led to the creation of many variations based on the standard game, but using different rules or equipment. For example, Six Red Snooker, the short-lived Snooker Plus, and the more recent Snooker Shootout version. This now takes us to today's mnemonic. Mnemonic. And the mnemonic for snooker, order to pot the balls, is Ray gets banned by potting the black. And for this one, we take the first letter of each word, apart from Ray, where we take the R and the Y. Now, for this one, picture Ray Reardon, who is a five-time snooker world champion, who gets dropped from the team after he potted the black first. So we'll get started. So with the Ray, we take the R for red, which is worth one point. The A is assisting, and we take the Y for yellow, which is worth two points. Gets, we take the G for green, three points. Band, we take the B for brown, four points. By, we take the B for blue, five points. Potting, we take the P for pink, which is six points. And black, we take the B for black, which is worth seven points. And we'll just go over that one more time. That's the mnemonic for snooker, order to pot the balls. And the mnemonic is, Ray gets banned by potting the black. With the Ray, we take the R for red, the A is assisting, and the Y for yellow. Gets, we take the G for green. Band, we take the B for brown. By, we take the B for blue. Potting, we take the P for pink. And black, we take the B for black. This now takes us to... Five fun facts. And the first fun fact today, fact number one. Ronnie O'Sullivan holds the record for the fastest 147 maximum break of 5 minutes and 8 seconds, which was achieved in 1997 World Championship. Now, apparently it took him years to get that big break. He must have been just in the right frame of mind. And fact number two. There have been 10 World Championship televised maximum breaks, with Stephen Hendry and Ronnie O'Sullivan responsible for six, with three each. And fact number three. Joe Davis from Derbyshire was the first World Champion in 1927 and won an incredible 15 successive World Championships. And fact four. The youngest World Champion was Stephen Hendry, in 1990 at the age of 21 years and 106 days. And the last fact, fact number five, Eddie Charlton from Australia, actually an Australian legend, holds the dubious record of the only person to be beaten 10-0 in a World Championship match in 1992. Now on to... The The three-question quiz. And the first question, question number one. When the cue ball is potted, it is commonly referred to as what? And I'll give you a hint here. It rhymes with matching. And question two. Snooker originated in which country and descended from which other game? And question three. Today's balls are made of resin or plastics, but all early snooker balls were made of what material? And we do have a bonus question, and that question is, Stephen Hendry, as mentioned, was the youngest winner of the World Championship in 1990 at age 21. How many more World Championships did he win in the 90s? And your options are 2, 6... Or eight. It's now time to recap that mnemonic. mnemonic. And the mnemonic for snooker, order to pot the balls, is Ray gets banned by potting the black. With the Ray, we take the R for red, the A is assisting, and the Y for yellow. Gets, we take the G for green. Band, we take the B for brown. By, we take the B for blue. Potting, we take the P for pink. And black, we take the B 
for black. Now on to the three question quiz answers. And the first question was, question one. When the cue ball is potted, it is commonly referred to as what? And I did give you a hint. The hint was rhymes with matching. And the answer there is scratching. And question two. Snooker originated in which country and descended from which other game? And snooker originated from India and it actually descended from croquet. And question three. Today's balls are made up of resins or plastics, but early snooker balls were made of what material? And that material was ivory. And our bonus question was, Stephen Hendry, as mentioned, was the youngest winner of the World Championship in 1990 at age 21. How many more World Championships did he win in the 90s? And your options were 2, 6 or 8. And Stephen Hendry won six more World Championships in 1992, 93, 94, 95, 96 and 99. Now on to Word of the Week. This week's Word of the Week is Valiety, and that is spelt V-E-L-L-E-I-T-Y. And the meaning, according to Dictionary.com, is a mere wish unaccompanied by an effort to obtain it. And our simple example today is becoming a champion snooker player is no Valiety. Well, that takes us to the end of another episode. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to join our mnemonic community, you can reach us at the Mnemonic Tree Podcast, which is all one word, dot com on the website. From there, you'll find links in the top right to Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Any feedback, please send that through to the mnemonic tree at gmail.com or write a review on Apple Podcasts or your chosen platform. Any reviews read on the podcast will receive a small gift of appreciation. And also, if you have any additional fun and interesting facts for today's episode, I'd love to hear them, so post them on Facebook and be sure to tag me. And if you want to take the mnemonic challenge, go to the website, scroll down a little, and you will find three buttons. The first button is episodes 1 to 10, the second button 11 to 20, and the third button 21 to 30. It contains all the mnemonics to test your recall. Until next time, remember as Socrates said, there is no learning without remembering. See you next time. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense.